up guys welcome back to another freaking vlog man <laughs> i can't go for like my oxygen level is probably very low all the time with the amount of times i'm screaming okay <clears throat> welcome back guys name's anna anna lynn either one times two one is at work and one is at school. So it's just me sitting here in the McDonald's parking lot drinking coffee. And I figured I'd start this video up with a little story time. For this morning, I'm very tired. I'm in pain. And I just want to go back to bed and take some muscle relaxers just to sleep throughout the day. So this is Vlogmas Day 6. <laughs> I wish I had six fingers to show you. Vlogmas day six and I'm still going strong. Um, I know like my videos have been dropping very late and I'm going to try to get on that by today. Try. Let's see how I feel throughout the rest of the day. So my story time actually was about last night. Jesus, I can't believe <laughs> I just experienced all of this. Let's say about like 9 o'clock, 9-ish, Nevaeh wanted to go to sleep. She was getting grumpy and whatnot. So I laid her down and within like 10 minutes she was out. So I was like, you know, I went to the gym today. So my body's kind of burnt out. And you can tell like my body's just in pain already. Maybe I should take a bath. Go to the bathroom. I turn on the water, hot water. So I'm going to sit in here for like maybe 30 minutes. And every time I take a bath, I always take my iPad with me. When I take my iPad with me, I like to watch my show. It was around like maybe 10-ish. The volume on my iPad is very low. And I was sitting there and all of a sudden, um, I hear the door like go sh sh like somebody was trying to get in. So I was like, oh gosh, Nevaeh's awake. So I hurry up and get up, get a towel on. I go open a door really quick and she's still sleeping. And then I looked towards my front door as maybe my sister got in. I looked that way, nothing. I was like, okay, 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 okay. Let me um, figure myself out here. So I close the door and then I get back in the bathtub and I start the movie again and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm literally sitting towards the wall and right next to the wall is the door. I know I heard the freaking door cause it's loud, it's like, Ch -ch -ch it's just like that it wasn't it wasn't like a full turn it was just like chick, chick. so i was like i know i heard that i know i heard that i am not even tired and i'm sitting there like what did i just experience what did i just hear i know i heard that I was like okay let me just let me just not think about it so i got into the show and i finally uploaded the video and I was like, you know, maybe it's time to get out because it's kind of getting too hot. So, got out, got ready, whatnot. And I was standing towards my mirror. So we have Nevaeh's sink and we have my sink. My sink is closer to the door. And I was standing on my side and I was brushing my hair. And as I was brushing my hair, I heard two knocks on the door. And I'm standing right next to the door. I was like, okay. Nevea has to be awake because Nevea likes to knock on doors or maybe Sita got in and she's knocking on the door So I open it slowly this time. I open it slowly. I open it and there was nobody there Nevea was still asleep. I looked towards the the main door again Nothing still locked And at this point I said, you know Whoever is messing with me doesn't want me in the bathroom right now So I get out close the door and I go sit on the bed and I'm not like leaning against the wall or anything. So I just sit on the bed and I turn the TV on. And I'm like, what, what just happened? Did I really just hear that? I literally did not know what to do. My heart was pounding so fast. And it felt like it was pounding so hard. I can hear my own freaking heartbeat. I was like, I don't know what to do. I can't just like panic. I can't. I can't let this thing, whatever it is, know that I'm scared or terrified. So I'm sitting there. I was like, you know, I'm going to call Z. I'm going to get my mind off of this. So I call her. It was like 11 o'clock at night by this time. 
and she answers and I tell her about it um, she checks the history to see if there was anybody that had died there or anything like that which there's nothing the house is newly built so we changed the subject and I told I totally forgot about it and we were talking about something else and like I said my back wasn't against the wall and all of a sudden I feel this back here uh, I did not want to react to it. I leaned against the wall just so I wouldn't have to feel that again. And this time, like, I see the whole view of the room. And I have the TV on. I have the Christmas lights on. And I texted Z. We were on the phone, but I texted her. I said, somebody just touched my back by my shoulder blades. So I didn't want to, like, like I said, I didn't want to react on it. Maybe this thing is getting a thrill of me talking about it. And all of a sudden, it's just touching me whatever so we talk on the phone for like maybe 30 minutes by this time like my heart has slowed down and I didn't really think much of it um, but like I said I, I try not to react to it very much because I feel like the energy that you give it makes it more intense I guess more interesting for them well after I got off the phone with Z I called literally called Sita and she answered and she's like, what, Ron? I said, can you come sleep with me in the Vaya tonight? She's like, yeah, okay, I'll be there. Do you want me to bring Kitty or not? No. <laughs> Please don't bring this to a cat. <laughs> so she came into the room. She sat down. And then I was like, you know, should I tell her? Should I not tell her? But I tell Sita everything. So I sat there and I told her about it. And she goes, oh, that's scary. Yeah, I was trying to sleep, but the cat kept scratching my leg and jumping around. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> so we sat there. We talked for like maybe 10 minutes about whatnot. And then she laid down and I laid down. I was tired by this point. But throughout the night, I kept waking up. Like something kept waking me up. Like I would feel things. And I would wake up. Like something's trying to keep me up. Something's going on. Like I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he's trying to tell me something or whatnot. So I check the security cameras. I get up. I go check the um, house doors to make sure everything is fine. The oven and everything is off. It's like, what is it trying to tell me at this point? So I lay back down and I left the room door open. Stupidly, I left it open. I was sleeping and I wanted to turn the other way towards Nevea. So right when I turned, like my foot came out of the blankets and I rolled over and my foot went on top of the blankets because it was kind of warm. And the freaking cat jumped out of the blankets and like crawled onto my legs. Like literally the nails went into my legs. I jumped up so fast and I screamed and I knocked the shit out of my leg. <laughs> this is why I closed the door. This is why I locked the door. Well, not why I locked the door. There's a reason why I locked the door. But that's that's a good way to end the story. <laughs> is the freaking cat. But you know, I don't know. I don't know what was going on last night. But I feel like right now we're still okay living in the house. Um, like I said before in my lives, I've always see shadows every time like I'm sitting and I'm concentrating on something it always catches me off guard like when I'm not even thinking about stuff like that and all of a sudden I see a shadow run across and I'm sitting there like did I just see another one and it's not just at the house wherever I go like maybe to the restaurant I go into the restroom I can hear something I know I'm gonna get a lot of like you should go see medicine man you should do cedar you should do this and that maybe something is following you around like I don't believe none of that like I said we've lived in a haunted house when we were younger we were able to see spirits Sita to this day can still see spirits I can see shadows so I was talking to somebody about it like maybe I should really like practice of learn opening my third eye and you know use it for good use but at the same time like that's basically opening a portal and i'm not trying to do all that <laughs> because you don't know what's going to come in from the other side you don't know if they're evil spirits or whatnot so a lot of times like i said i just like brush it off i don't put any energy into it like last night i don't want to put any energy into it like what if that was 
opening up my third eye kind of thing what if it was trying to get me to do that like i said we are safe in the house this thing is not trying to hurt us um i felt this touch before over at my old apartment and those apartments were literally they were brand new we were the first ones to live in those apartments and i was sitting on the bed and i have my niece sitting by the edge of the bed and i have my sister on this side and my daughter was i think she was sleeping or something and that one i felt a touch in the same spot back here so I, I like i said me and my sister were just immune to it we've experienced so much when we were younger but i figured i shared this with you guys <laughs> it's just something unexpected i didn't think i was gonna go through this last night i thought i was just gonna have a nice relaxing spa night but on the other note um why i'm in pain is i used to have braces braces came out and i was supposed to be wearing my container when i'm not eating which is basically 24 hours a day i haven't been wearing them and then yesterday i noticed that this teeth and this teeth were starting to like separate from others like the other ones were shifting out and those two teeth were still in the middle so i seen that yesterday so i was like you know i need to wear my retainers i need to wear them all the time so last night i put them in and for sure these two and these two shifted out because when i put them in those were the four main teeth that were hurting like you could tell like it was slowly pushing it back together so all night i took three Tylenols yeah I took three Tylenols before I went to sleep and then it it was kind of okay it really didn't do the trick <laughs> woke up this morning my mouth was so sore like right now it hurts I can't even eat it's like getting your braces retightened all over again so brush my teeth this morning I said should I put it back on should I put it back on I looked at it I seen that the gap closed again so this retainer does wonders but shit it hurts I put it back in now it's like in pain again especially when this kind of like pops up a little while I'm talking and I have to like bite down on it I can feel the pain all over again so that's why I'm in pain that's why I haven't really get that much sleep from last night so I'm like kind of tired <sighs> the vlogmas day six let's go Right back on top of me, yeah. I love you, boy. Do you feel the same? I don't want to play games. <laughs> Auntie. Auntie. Dad. Scare Auntie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I think I was supposed to get scared. <laughs> Guess what came in today, see? Ooh. I already opened it, but here you go. <laughs> Ooh, kitty, you're back. Now, where's yours? You're right there. <laughs> oh, right. I like it. Mm hmm. Or this one's hurt? Yeah, yeah, put a new card in there. <gasps> and then you're charging them more. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Okay. Select your country, which is this one. This one? Yep. Nevaeh's grandma gave this to us, and she said to open it every single day on the day, and I kept forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit my head. Okay, it's SpongeBob SquarePants. It's a holiday countdown which has 24 chocolates. Different type of chocolate chocolate. <laughs> Different type of chocolate flavors in each square. If you guys can see the square. What's today? Six. Okay, we have six chocolates that we're gonna try out now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are so behind on this. So let's get this video going. I'm so excited, which means I have to take out my retainers. I really can't talk with these on. All right, let's try this. Oh, and I'm making dinner. I'm making pulled pork 
barbecue pulled pork. It smells so good. Really need to find my tripod. I'm tired of using all these different stupid stuff in the house. And I forgot to put my hat on. Okay. More festive. Let's do this. I'm not too big on chocolate, but I like chocolate. Um, it seems like after I had Nevea, I started to like chocolate. Before that, uh, how do you open this? Before that, I could not stand chocolate whatsoever. I didn't start eating chocolate or I didn't start eating candy until I was like in the fifth grade. <coughs> my mom and my dad were really strict on us eating candy and stuff like that. <laughs> Who's gonna steal the chocolate? Why is this wrapped up so tight? But yeah, Sita's been wanting this iPad for a while now. She hacked. She put a virus or something on her other iPad, so the iPad is an RIP. Almost slid the whole iPad off the counter. So her iPad finally came in today. She's all excited and she put a virus on my daughter's iPad. So my daughter was using another old iPad that we have. Navsita was using my old iPad that I had. So everybody was just kind of like using everybody's iPad. So now she finally got hers and I can put the other one away. And then Nevaeh's, hers should be coming in next week. We ordered her the smaller one, the newer one, but the smaller one. So day one, where are you? Oh, you're right here. Right on the eye. Just cute, look at that. Papa is stuck in there, you're supposed to push it out. Stir. Okay, this is a little reindeer. Oh, it's a little reindeer. Okay, let's try this. It tastes like one of those cookies that have chocolates in them. And they're like round cookies and then they're like weird designs. It tastes like that kind of chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for her. Day two, where are you day two? Why is this so hard? Okay, day two's right here. Oh no, the top chocolate is falling down, which we're gonna eat on day six, which is today. Oh, we got Frosty, we got the snowman. Kind of tastes the same as the other one. Just a little bit different. <laughs> Suck at describing. Okay, day three is right here. Oh no, day three fell. This has been just like tossed around for a while by Nevea. Oh, we got a house. We got a gingerbread house. All right, this is the gingerbread house. Let's go. This one? Mm-hmm. Mmm, mm. the house tastes good. Tastes like somewhat of a Snickers. It's actually really good. All right, that's day three. Here's day four. Oh, cool. We got a Santa hat. I can't describe these chocolate. They all taste like chocolate, but they have like little sorts of flavors here and there. A5 is down here. Okay. Five is a present. Aww. May I want some chocolate? Okay. Mmm, not really liking day five. Yeah. It's good, but it's not my favorite. Day six, <laughs> day six. I was like three of them just sneaking in there. Yeah, in the car, okay, I'm know? assuming this 14 yeah, goes that, up. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that one goes with that one. 
Okay, this one is for day six. It's a little mini star. That one tastes like there's nuts in it, but it tastes really good like almond. I think that one's almond. It tastes really good. Dad. So tomorrow we are going to be opening right in his mouth. That'll be day seven. But yeah, we got this from the Bea's grandma and I totally forgot about it. And I was walking out of the room earlier. I was like, yeah, we should try those <laughs> before it melts. That is it for today's video. I want, I like literally wanted to try this uh, for like the past 30 minutes. So now that she's able to try some with me, which she's not much of a big fan on. Obviously she's doing other things. But thank you guys for watching this video. Day six of Vlogmas complete. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and we shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos and also, Stay safe, stay blessed. Peace. This is my song. I've been listening to the radio all night long. Sit around, wait for it to come on. And here it is. Girl, you got that beat right. Kill it and you leave I sign off. Your loving's got me buzzing like a street light. It's too early out of Cali, baby. Don't you want to rally again? When I taste tequila, oh, baby, I still see you.